and brick tax. I'm going to go ahead and walk you through how to put a Recluse EXP into a BMW F800. I've used one of these in my GS through South America for almost 20,000 miles, as well as using it through most of the backcountry discovery routes. I've used them in races. It's a very durable product. We're going to go ahead and put it into an F800 GT today. The process is very, very similar, and it's actually the same clutch, regardless of which bike it is. So let's go ahead and get started. First step is to remove the clutch cover. Make sure you get the bolts off the inside of the cover. The clutch cable here, just remove pressure. That slides completely up out of the case. And then the shifter. And also make sure you take out your oil dipstick. At that point, we just remove the clutch cover. And access the clutch. Do keep in mind that there is a washer that is often easy to lose. It either rests right here, it actually goes on the shift, uh, the shift rod here. So make sure you keep track of that. Don't lose that. Remove these six bolts here, and the pressure plate will come right out. Once you remove the pressure plate, and just remove the clutch pack, and we'll put it in the new clutch pack and the auto clutch. You'll be reusing three of the original drive plates. You'll be using one of the original fibers. There are two that have narrow tabs on them. One at the back of the pack and one at the front of the pack. If you're not sure which they are, take the fibers, line them up on the bottom, and you'll notice that one tab is just slightly narrower. You need one of those narrow tabs. You will not be reusing any of those with the thick tabs. Take a drive plate, one of the original drive plates, put that in. Place the narrow tab in, follow that up with one more drive plate. Next, you'll have a whole pile of these basket sleeves, and these slide right in where that tab on your fiction plates go. Just place these each in, all the way around. Recuse provides you with new drive plates and fibers. You'll start by applying a fiber, followed by a drive plate, until the entire pack is installed. Once you've installed the entire pack of new drive plates and fibers you'll put it in your EXP disc. These are actually tunable. So you'll notice there's three screws or flat heads on both sides. Below those is a colored spring. They come factory with a medium engagement and they have three blue and three red. If you want to make it a heavier or lighter engagement you can change those with the other springs that are included. For this bike, medium engagement is a good choice, so we're going to leave it with the factory uh, three blue and 
three red. So we slide in the EXP disk. This is the remaining uh, OEM drive plate. And we're done. It's installed. Now we just put the whole clutch back together. And we set the bike up, go for a ride. One of the trickier parts of putting this clutch back on is just looking down inside this hole here, you'll see there's a flat edge. Make sure that your pull rod here, or whatever BMW calls it, is lined up so that they slide over the top. Make sure you have that washer on your little shift rod. And slide it back into position. That's it. All we need to do is bolt it up, hook up our cable, and tune the clutch. Once the clutch is installed and the cables are back on, we'll check for free play game. Uh, Recluse actually gives you a little small band here. You have a sixteenth to an eighth of an inch of free play. Once it's adjusted properly, you get to go ride. There's a break-in procedure. Make sure you read your manual. Go through the proper procedures. Enjoy a long life with your recluse.